out here for what seems to be a week and we have seen no sign of her. Sure, we've gained a lot of ground because I did meet somebody that she's close to. But if Elder Lucas thinks that Jocelyn was taken by bandits, I see no bandits. I haven't seen any bandits since we've gotten out here. So I think that we need to go back. We need to talk to Elder Lucas and ask him of any family or friends that might live in cities that are far, far away. Because honestly, we've seen no bandits. I have no proof that she's out here. And honestly, we need more information to go on. So, I'm going to break down the campsite. Um, what are you guys going to do? I'll be on lookout out here. Alright. Uh, Max? Yes. We will be out here hiding. I don't know why, but something doesn't feel right. Um... All right, you guys, um, you be on lookout and I'll start breaking down the campsite. Heidi, we have a problem out here. Um, oh, oh, this isn't good. Maxwell, Maxwell. I do agree with her, Heidi. We have a huge problem. There are bandit, bandits surrounding us. I, I figured, um, um, can, can, can we be? Be, be civil people here, you guys. Um, there's, there's really no reason for you to be surrounding us. Um, we've done nothing wrong. We were just leaving. If this is your forest or whatever, it's you. Um, don't, don't know what you're talking about. Your father sent us after you. <laughs> what? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know my father. And you are all going to have to go away because, no. Either you come with us the easy way or the hard way. First off, this isn't a bargaining situation. I'm not going with anyone. The only people that I will be going with are my friends. My friends and I will be leaving. And you will be leaving as well. Your friends are going to suffer since being associated with you is punishable by death. Um... No, you touch my friends, and I will make sure to kill each and every one of you, because that's not going to fly. Don't play dumb with us. We know very well what you are, and your power won't affect us. I honestly don't know what I am. I don't know why you're so angry with me. Um, if my father is really this mad at me, maybe he should just leave me alone. Just, just going to throw that out there. Your father will be very pleased to have you back home and locked up where you belong. In a cage. <laughs> what? First off, I'm, I'm a regular person like anyone else. Why would I be put in a cage? That's, no, I'm not going with any of you. And that is that. There's no place for your kind here. Or anywhere for that matter. What is my kind? I have no idea what you're talking about. Can somebody please clear this up for me? Anyone. You know very well what you are, dog girl. Get them. Okay, Max, Marie, um, watch your sides, and I'll take on as many as I can. Be ready, you guys. If you ever come around here again, I will make sure that you don't go home the next time. Max, Marie, are, are you guys oh, okay? Ma Maxwell, Heidi, I'll protect Maxwell. He only dealt with one of the other ones. The others were shot with arrows and you were the only one with a crossbow. I, Marie, I only dealt with those two over there, and I didn't even use my crossbow. Uh, Maxwell, can, can you hear me? Are, are you okay? He groans, as if in tremendous pain. I'll deal with you in a second. Max, just... Just be okay, please. 
Uh, I'll be back in a second. As for you four, what do you have to say for yourselves? He, he said she had powers, but she only dealt with two of us. Calm down. Whatever power she has, we will be ready for. Honestly, the fact that you guys are beating around the bush and not telling me who I am, where I'm from, or who my dad is, that is making me very, very angry. And also the fact that you thought it was smart to severely hurt one of the people that I care the most about. Now, I will give you guys 30 seconds to tell me who and what I am. I know she has powers. I've seen it before. Really, if you've seen it before, what powers do I have? I've seen her powers. She is the ultimate alpha, for Lord's sake. What did you just say? Er, ow. My head. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Heidi Z, or EC Gaming. And this is just going to be a little short clip here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the first season of The Mystery of Silverkeep, and don't worry guys, there is much more to come. There's gonna be so many more twists and turns in season two, oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing you guys. But I've actually decided that there will be a week or two in between season one and season two. I'm thinking it's just gonna be a week, um, the time I'm recording this, I'm recording this right after I finished recording. So. I should be able to put together season two within the next, you know, I don't know how many weeks and some of season three. I just thought it'd be good to have a little break in between, you know, I don't, I don't really want to keep you guys waiting, but you know, depending on the feedback on this video, it might be released the next week or, you know, I don't know. It depends on what you guys want. Comment down below and tell me if you want more Silverkeep. Then maybe we can do it twice a week. It depends on what you guys want. Um, I'm going to be working hard the next couple weeks. Um, to be making that for you guys. Yeah. Um, so if you enjoyed, go ahead and hit that like button. Comment. Tell me what you thought of the episode. What do you think of all of the episodes? Just let me know. Um, last but not least, if you were new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Become a part. Of, become a part of the Zoom Nation and known as the Zoom Union. And uh, I think that's about it for me, you guys. Um, we're gonna go into a little picture of. Mystery of Silver Keep Season 1 with a little bit of music for a little bit. I'd say about 5 seconds, 10 seconds. Yeah, because I think that'd be cool, you know, just to, for us to think about what's happened during all of Season 1. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and as always, you guys, much love and peace.